international super fight here at pain and glory at the NEC arena England versus Japan Damien trainer from K star versus Arashi Fujihara from Japan I'm here with the former ISKA lightweight world champion Dave Newbrook Dave Damien possibly the best at his way in Europe at the moment yeah definitely uh, you know certainly the best uh, best from uh, the UK um, very very good fighter uh, a lot of experience um, you know uh, real, real good fighter and Fujihara as our MC Neil Pickup says that all Japan number one Japan as well very good pedigree in Thai boxing yeah he's been tough I've uh, trained out there with the all Japan kickboxing federation and uh, you know some of the guys trained out there they, they really uh, do it sort of full-time professionally and uh, you know the, the good tough fellas um, you know a lot of honor there they, they tend not to sort of stop well I feel Damien trainer proved that he, he was a, a force at world level he fought Wang Chan Noi a really world-class Thai fighter and didn't look out of his class until he was stopped with cuts by elbows which we've mentioned before how devastating they are but until then he certainly looked yeah. in good class there but it was just simply that he couldn't go and he got cut in the cheek and cut on the eye yeah i think he caught a, a perfectly timed flying knee from Wang chan noi as well came came up through the middle and uh, and caught him on the face uh, you know which uh, you can't really account for that that's just sheer class from, uh, from a, a world class time and the, i mean to be fair though um Fujihara looks very lively in his opening few seconds. Yep, um, you know, they're generally pretty action-packed, the, uh, the Japanese fighters, and uh, they'll certainly be tough in here to come to fight. Yeah, very well conditioned, very wiry, and um, he really been using those knees very early. Damien, a superb boxer, very good with his own elbows, as he showed in his last fight. Some punishing kicks already coming in from Fujihara. Yeah, he's not holding anything back at the moment. He's, he's putting a lot into those kicks. Yeah, he's very strong looking man for the weight. Damien just. He's, a, he's having a good look, to be fair, Damien. He, he, he's taking his time. We know what a good boxer he is. Yeah, Damien won't panic. He'll, uh, he'll have a look. We can see some marking there on his arm from those kicks. Yes, yeah. already come through. As you said, I think it's because Fujihara has been letting them go straight away. Mm. Yeah. Damien, known as a punishing kicker himself, but at the moment it's like two gunslingers. He's been beaten to the draw, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it could be a slightly worrying thing for his corner there, seeing the, uh, the redness, because... Uh, you know, if his hand starts to drop, then um, he may well lift that kick up to his head. It's also a sign that it's a powerful young man, but that's the counter to it. Yeah. The straight counter to the kick, if you can step in with it. Right. See what they've got in the clinch. Good knee there from Damien. But you're right, David. The, the arm very raw and sore there from those kicks. And then, like I said, the, the danger there is that his arm does drop and... Uh, and the Japanese guy, you know, will just throw a head kick then and, you know, it could be good night. Two good knees there, though, from Damien in the clinch. Good elbow, though, from Fujihara. I was just about to say in the clinch, Damien was getting the better, but that was a, that was a perfect little elbow there. Yeah, just, just as they sort of come out of the clinch there, the, the, uh, the Japanese guy put a, put a very nice elbow in. And it's Mark Damien, as you can see, under the eye there. So... We're in first round for Damien Trainer because we've got a real live wire in Arashi Fujihara. And I think showing why he's Japan's number one. Very lively start. Certainly, yeah. You know, um, Damien knows he's in a fight and uh, we'll, we'll see what's called from him. Yeah, so uh, a lively opening round. And I'm going to go with Fujihara there for that first round. Really s dominated the round, set out his stall. And Damien is very good defensively, yet the fact that he got caught quite consistently shows just how good this young man is. Yeah. Definitely, um, definitely give it to uh, to the Japanese guy there first round. So Arashi Fujihara, Japan number one, and proving why at the moment. Damien Trainer, really not allowed to get into his stride at all, was he? No, uh, you know he's he's come out strong. You can see the the, the power power of those kicks there. Uh, and that's what he's got to look out for because, as you said, if he manages to get the arm to drop. And that comes up to the neck or the, or the side of the head. It could be all over. And that's yeah, what he's definitely. looking for. Oh, definitely. He's, he's come out to do that. <laughs> Seems quite a hard kick to, to block that. You can sometimes sort of block the, uh, 
the round outs to the body actually with your own shin if you bring it up high enough um, maybe Damien needs to start doing that but um, he tends to loop it up and then down which you know uh, makes it quite difficult to, uh, to block it and I said Damien there uh, under the, the left eye a bit marked up from the elbow so it's been a torrid first round for him really he really needs to get in his stride now and start something offensive for the second round to, to, to give Fujihara something to think about yep definitely uh, you know he's, he's he's got all the weapons out he's disposable he just uh, he just needs to start using them now that's right went for the inside thigh kick then the front push kick there and this is what he needs to do it's a dangerous game for Fujihara if he wants to mix the boxing with Damien I think Damien would feel far more comfortable if he did but it just shows he's brimming with confidence at the moment after that first round. Damien really needs to dent that confidence now. Yep, um, you know, he, he can't wait too long in this fight. He, he needs to start doing something. Yes, Fujiara, a real live wire in the first round, but he, he mustn't get too comfortable in that role. And too assertive, Damien's got to do something this round. But a good game, he came through from that right-hand lead with the left hand, from that southpaw lead, and caught Damien flush in the face with that left. That's what he needs to do. Nice double up there. Shame it just missed with the second one. Good knee from Trainer. And he's aimed at Fujihara comes back with his own. And often these clinches give you an idea of which man's actually physically stronger, don't they, Dave? Yeah, certainly, you know, um, they often don't look much, uh, you know, just to watch, but um, when you're actually in, in the clinches is when you sometimes, you know, you're, you're expending most of your energy. Well, there, Damien Trainer got caught with one of his fa own favourite punches, a little uppercut there. It, it didn't rock him, but that's the sort of punch Trainer is famous for throwing, and he got caught with it himself there. Very tidy fighter, Fujihara. Yep. Very impressive. Been very impressive in himself. In strength terms, in these clinches, there didn't seem much in it. Um, I think in strength terms, they're equally matched. And Damien does, is trying to work really hard with the knees in those clinches. Yeah, I think if anything, Damien would uh, would rather keep the fight through the clinch. Yeah, no point kick there. Just missed this time. Damien needs to find a way to figure him out, really. He's fought cycles in the past. That's what he needs, the low kick and then the high punches. Yeah, just, just seems to have down slightly now, the, the uh, Japanese guy. Yeah, certainly not so keen to throw it so fast now that he's been picked up on him. This is what Damien needs to do. He needs to build on this now. If anything, I say he's got at least a share of this round. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's been a better round for him. Um, we'll see how it goes in the later rounds. You know, he looks a fit guy, uh, Fujihara, so uh, I'm sure he hasn't burned himself out too early. And again, that, that short uppercut landed again on Damien. So he's a good boxer himself as well, which is that um, Damien's famed for. But Fujihara's a sharp puncher. Mm. Very mm. impressed with this young man. Good second round, lively second round there. Did he do enough to have a share of that? Um, I think so, yeah. Um, you know, I think he, uh, he, he started to come back in. He's using his leg, leg kicks again. Um, he'll, he'll be more pleased with that. Um, and yeah. uh, you know. Fujihara now. Because again, he's in he's in his southpaw stance now, and he's protecting that leg. And Damien's coming in, and there's the elbow, nice one to the jaw. Yeah, very nice elbow. And for the first time, he's doing more posing than fighting because he's been very busy in the previous rounds. But now he he's not so keen. There comes the kicks in, as you said, and for the first time, Damien's bringing his leg up, he's blocking it, and then taking the the, the leg on the floor. And there, yep. that's when he starts to hobble around. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I'd feel happy if that was the, the third coming into the fourth rather than the fourth. So we have it, the fifth and final round. Damien Trainer. good second round, good fourth round. He really needs a good fifth to get something out of this fight now. Fujiara back to his southpaw stance. And you can see the damage that elbow did on his cheekbone there. Clear, red marks. So Trainer got through, and as you said, he's come out early this time. And he needs to do it. He really needs to work lively now. And again, Fujiara, he would have thrown that in, in the last couple of rounds. Not quite so keen anymore.
Yeah, often the, the best form of, uh, of defence is attack, and he's uh, he certainly landed on on, on the on the, uh, the leg of Fujihara there, and you know he is reluctant to throw it now. And the trainer's arm, though, you can see the damage there clearly, but it hasn't seemed to bother him. But it will do tomorrow and the day after. And he up fast, so I think. So he needs to step this up, work those legs, and then try and get those elbows over the top. He scored well with that elbow because that side of Fujihara's face is swelling. You see under the cheekbone here. It's coming up into a bruise. Yep. And if you hit that bruise again, that's when it starts to cut. And that's what Damien needs. If he's going to win this at a cut stoppage, he take that. Looking for it again. And Fujihara back into orthodox stance again with the left leg forward now. I think this proves his last two rounds. Um, I think Damien's earned his respect now. Certainly, yeah. Uh, um, you know, if he'd have uh, if he'd have fought like this from the start, then uh, you know, I think we'd be looking at a, uh, a very different sort of outcome. Damien stepping up his own kicks now, looking for that elbow again, unlucky there with the, the right high point kick. He's looking to step in there, you know what that was he was looking for, he was looking for a downward elbow there, but Fujihara, to be fair to him, saw it, good front kick as a defensive manoeuvre there. Yeah. That was a jumping downward elbow coming from the trainer, and Fujihara saw it and stuck the foot out, great defensive manoeuvre. Very again from Damien. Yeah, he's got better as the fight's gone on, most definitely. Whether he's done it in time, I don't know, because Fujihara really lively in the earlier rounds. Yeah, he, he certainly looks the, the tired of the two at the moment, Fujihara. Trying, trying to work the body there, trying to open him up to land that elbow. I think he needs a big elbow before the end of the round now. I think he's certainly taking this round, but whether he's got enough points in, in the bag there, we've had the judges see it. There it is. I feel they're gonna go with Fujihara. I think so, Mark, and yeah, um, it has to be said, a cracking fight, you know, um, both fighters displaying some good skills there, and it was really was back and forward. I felt got stronger as the fight went on. You just wish that maybe that damage had started around round two, the end of round two, beginning of round three, because he was getting through. Yep, he just seemed to lose his way a little bit in the middle of the fight. Well, he did enough, we said. Um, Fujihara is not too disappointed. There's a smile on his face. If we look at, say, maybe rounds two drawn, four drawn, round one to Fujihara and round five to Damien, then you do get that result. Yeah, I mean... Um, you know, I think it's a fair decision, really. Um, never like to see a draw there. Um, if I had to edge it, I'd, I'd have probably gone with Fujihara myself, but uh, I can certainly see why it was called a draw.
We're here for Pain and Glory, the fight sport spectacular at the NEC Arena. And we've got a Muay Thai super fight over five three-minute rounds. Corner Chai from Thailand versus Frankie Hudders from England, the ISK world champion. And Frankie Hudders probably one of the most explosive fighters in the Muay Thai world at the moment. Yeah, Frankie's a, a, a really good fighter. Um, been around for quite a while, a lot of experience, and, uh, you know, he's an uh, exceptional talent. Yes, he's also known as a bit of a banger. The reason Frankie gets such a big following, as you can hear here, now is that he does carry the knockout power but again corner chai you look at him looks very big for a tie fighter yeah it'd be interesting to see uh, you know just how good he is five three minute rounds full muay thai rules here at pain and glory the nec arena Frankie from Beastmasters. Touch gloves and away we go. Just feeling each other out here in typical Thai fashion. there from Frankie and if anything having a first look at corner Chai with all due respect to him by Thai standards not the most conditioned fighter they brought over no no just uh, looks to be kind of a little bit on the way sir but um, you know that, that won't affect his skill if uh, you know if he's, if he's uh, as, as good as uh, as we think he will be sounding each other out here in this first round first of five over three minutes Took the leg there and a good kick. He made Corner Chai smile, but nice timing. Yeah, so nice start from Frankie. He's looking sharp. Again, Frankie, a very good boxer. He'll look for ways to get in, but at the moment, he's just sanding his man out with those low kicks. to the standing leg. This more typical of, of, of your normal tie round, isn't it? And you, you're opening round having a good look at each other, taking your time to work your way in. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, very sort of traditional style fight here. Um, both having a good, good look at each other. First punch there thrown by Frankie, which is what the crowd love to see. They're waiting for that because he does carry knockout power, Frankie Hudders. Mainly these opening exchanges have been exchanges of low kicks. What are they looking for when they do that? Because, I mean, um, of, of the two, possibly, Frankie's had the more success at the moment. Yeah, he seems to be putting a bit more venom uh, into his shots, uh, Frankie, uh, and, and, and working them out a bit more. The, you know, the tie's been blocking uh, a lot of those leg kicks, but he, you know, he has got through with a few. Uh, yeah. And that will just, just be uh, probing, you know, looking to get the opening and, and see what opens up for the rest of the fight. Yeah, a much more traditional opening tie round there, having a good, good look at each other. And you feel, though, that Frankie will just be looking for a, an opportunity once he starts working those legs to get those hands in over the top and see how he can take a punch. Certainly, yeah, I'd, I'd expect that to be his game plan. So Pelly there talking to him in the corner, looks very cool and relaxed. Peter Crook again there working the ties corner. Would have been fighting tonight except for an injury. 
looks very calm, Frankie, doesn't he? What, what do you think he'll have learned from that first round? Yeah, um, you know, I think I think he'll have, have gained in confidence. Basically, he's, he's he knows he can get through. Um, he knows he can land his shots. Um, we, we, you know, we'll see how it develops, but um, I think he's, he's, he's looking in control at the moment. Second round of five. Hard to judge from that first round. Feeling out process from both men. Looking to step it up, I hope, in this round. Bit tentative with the hands there. Corner chide in, went to throw the punch. Thought about it, stopped, then did throw it. Very ineffective. Slow point kick there from Frankie, looking to follow up with his hands, I imagine, afterwards. Good exchange of kicks there. They, they, they are stepping up slightly now, Dave. Yeah, certainly. Um Frankie especially, I think, is, uh, is, is trying to let go a bit more. Yeah, looking very sharp tonight, Frankie Hudders. Good low point kick when he fainted with the hands there. Corner Chai went for them, again took the supporting leg. stalking his man and again take that support leg just as the leg came up for the kick he takes the support leg away yeah he's done that a few times now and uh, it's, it's working well for him this is found his range early here frankie Push kick there by Corner Chai in defence, and he needed because Frankie was going to come in and work with the hands and just took the sting out of the attack there. But they always look cool in the ring because often it's like their second home, and they spend so much time in there, they're so comfortable in the ring, the TIE fighters. Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, it's uh, just a game of chess at the minute, this one. First time we see them in the clinch, and here in round two. Looking at this, if they've done their homework, I think someone's told the TIE fighter that Frankie can bang. Because every time he goes to work those hands, that front kick comes out to keep him away. He's happy to trade the kicks, but he's not really let Frankie cut loose with those hands, has he? I think someone's told yeah. him here, look out for this man, he can bang. Yeah, it looks that way. Um, showing Frankie a lot of respect there, um, which, uh, you know, is a wise thing to do. So after two rounds, you're separating them? I, I feel Frankie's putting the pressure on, maybe piling up the points with those kicks. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, it's always difficult when they are feeling each other out, but, uh, yeah, I think Frankie's edging it at the moment. Beautiful, wasn't it? Took the... The support leg just as he saw the kick come up takes the support kick the yep. leg and it um corner child where i smile he almost looked embarrassed there yeah he, he won't have been happy with that so frankie had is in control at the moment and more in traditional thai style i feel corner child looks a bit hesitant when it comes to the boxing i don't think he wants to get engaged in that whatsoever he's thrown two very hesitant right hands yeah. I couldn't really say what they were. No, no, he, he doesn't look uh, look a great boxer at all. Um, but uh, you know they can just spring into action at uh, at any moment. Second round, second round, round three. Right, round three of five here. Frankie Hud is in control. We feel at the moment just been frustrated in his boxing technique by Corner Chai's defence. 
It'll be a telling moment if he gets through with one of his big left or right hands. Frankie really well conditioned for this fight. Stalking corner Chai again, looking for the opening. And into the clinch for only the second time, this in the third round. Frank just negating the knees there to the referee's position. Well, I think he's happier outside of the clinch, Frankie. He, li he likes to work. Yeah. Um, good, good with the elbow. So uh, you know he's. Um, I mean, he'll be looking to get the tie in the end of his uh, on his punches, really. Yes, he hasn't had that opportunity yet, which is um, credit to Porter Chai's defence. Almost there with the left, a looping left, but it didn't quite land. But he feels it's only a matter of time, the way he's focused and the way he's stalking his man. I think he wants to lure him out, doesn't he, so that he can get those hands off. Yeah. If I've got a criticism of Corner Chai at the moment, it's, it's to me that he, he seems almost in survival mode. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, we're really waiting for something from him, aren't we, at the moment? So, um, Credit to Frankie, he's, he's not letting him lull him into any sort of false sense of security. Um, but it'll uh, be interesting to see whether he, whether he comes up with some more. Yeah, he acknowledged that front kick.